Warning, the following show features stunts performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. Accordingly, MTV and the producers must insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any stunt or activity performed on this show. Hey chat, my name is Rima Evenstar. This move is called The Pallion. Welcome to Jackass. I'm gonna do a crazy backflip. Three, two, one. Oh, uh, I think I broke something. In an industry dominated by polished perfection, Fillion's vibrant chaos emerges as a refreshing anomaly. Amidst a landscape filled with corporate-backed VTubers, Fillion, an indie VTuber, has astonishingly secured her position among the elite within just three years. This is the story of Fillion's journey. But knowing the internet, when you're a VTuber, you're gonna need decent protection. After all, being a VTuber without a VPN is like streaming in your underwear, uncomfortably exposed. Any passerby could have access to your very sensitive information. Here's why I'm at ease using private internet access. The app does two things. It hides your IP address, which encrypts your internet connection and allows you to change your IP address to 91 countries and all 50 US states. Not only does it secure your internet connection, but it's the most transparent VPN provider out there. Their strict no logs policy means your data isn't stored anywhere, giving you additional peace of mind. Private internet access enhances web accessibility by unlocking geo-restricted content on various sites and services. For example, right now, the classic anime Full Metal Alchemist isn't available on Netflix in the USA or Canada, but by altering my geographical location, I can now watch it. This applies to more than just streaming, online shopping, gaming, and even finding better deals on travel are enhanced. As you may know, I recently went on vacation and managed to save money when I booked my flight for my VPN. It's compatible across all devices and supports unlimited connections with a single subscription and is among the rare VPN allowing P2P sharing. The cherry on top? Use my link below for an 83% discount on private internet access. That's only $2.03 a month with four extra months for free. Thank you private internet access for sponsoring this video. And now back to the main content. Despite being a fully functioning adult, Fillion is an above immature humor. Her content consists of pranks, all kinds of silly foolery, and incredible gymnastics. One! I swear it's a no. What the? Although she makes a point to never curse or engage in lewd behavior. Or engage in lewd behavior. Oh, frick. The only time she actually swore was when she reached the last milestone of her donathon. Fuck. <laughs> But still, Fillion is very daring, often subjecting herself to ridiculous punishments on stream. These involve embarrassing herself in public worlds in VR chat. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'll go home. Ingesting cursed combination of food items. Yes, we have a lot of amazing ingredients and condiments on this desk right now. As you can see, we have a half-eaten apple that's about five days old. We have a dirty napkin, which is I don't even know what I did with that. And also, guys, if you look at that bowl, that is that is the remains of milk from cereal. It has been sitting there for five days now. Five days. And it is literally congealed into cheese slash yogurt. I am afraid to touch it because it might grab me and pull me in. All right. And also we have a bag of effing Doritos and we have eaten a uh, 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 spaghetti. I'm not even sure these can be considered girl dinners at this point. And tweeting out self damaging statements. No! Oh, oh, thank God. Okay, chat, what are we tweeting? Chat, what are we tweeting? No, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. No. Most of her content is made using a Valve Index Kit, which she claims to have broken and replaced several times. Dad, I have broken 10 Valve Index 
these controllers. That's about $150 each. Not only that, I have broken two index headsets and eight VR cables. I have also broken, as of today, a one base station. How did you break a base station? Her streams are a constant stream of consciousness, acrobatics, and upbeat jokes. Perfect for keeping the attention of audiences, especially the short attention span kind that is more prevalent today. Basically zoomers. Contrary to her L2D counterparts where the lower half of the model is never seen, Pillion stands out by almost always streaming with full body tracking. Rather than confining her model to a fixed position like a webcam, she actively roams the screen, engages with interactive elements, and performs impressive gymnastics. Moreover, her current avatar features an extensive wardrobe, frequently showcasing a variety of outfits within a single stream. These outfit changes often play a key role in her performance or transform into moments perfect for clipping. One day he said, send me a selfie, and I sent it to him. He said, ew, a boy. And I was like, what's the problem with that? And he said, I need you to become my kitten. So I had to put the, the, the ears on the head, all that stuff. You guys just know how it was. And so, you know, five months later, you know, I kind of looked a little bit like this. Um, and I just want to say, like, I really enjoyed the transition that I've had into becoming a furry. I feel like it's empowered me to become who I truly am. She truly excels at leveraging every available tool to produce top-notch content, adeptly and seamlessly turning these moments into engaging snippets for her audience. Heck, she even manages to make wardrobe malfunctions look hilarious. The freak? Stop! Stop! Freak! Dude, it won't stop! I can't hey, fix yo, it! I'm trying, Chad! I'm trying, man! What? Whoa, whoa. But Fillion had pretty humble beginnings. Her journey truly started on VR chat. Prior to that, she claims she was actually quite shy and had spent most of her internet experience being a complete mute. The first time I really started talking on the internet to strangers, uh, before VR chat, I had been a mute on the internet my entire time. And I was really nervous and scared to like actually talk to people. But this changed when she entered the world of VR chat. While exploring VR chat, she kept encountering Lolaton. And through a series of chains encounters, she even had the opportunity to be featured in some of their videos. It was during this time that she truly experienced what content creation was all about, gaining an up close view of the life of a prominent content creator. Buy it right away. I'll be the first one. What? Oh, God, oh God, this is great. I picked two. Uh, hey, nice to see you. Doing good? Uh -huh. hey. uh, I'm confused. Um, I'm doing good. Ow! Yeah, sorry about me. <laughs> yeah, don't kill me. Let's <laughs> <laughs> not good. bring that up on. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Now what? Oh, Is that it? Streaming. I'm done? Sorry. I want to turn. You're good. <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> This gave her the drive to stream. After this, on January 4th, 2021, she started streaming as a faceless streamer. Wait, I should take teleport. Wait, wait, wait. Shut down. I can TP in five seconds, right? Then she evolved to a static PNG of her avatar until someone came into her chat to notify her that her VTuber camera broke. Of course, she didn't use one at the time, but that led her to search for the term VTuber. It wasn't until after she googled what a VTuber meant and came across Gargura that she decided to make the switch herself. I was a faceless streamer for like a month and I had been playing VR chat at the time, so I said, okay, well, why not take a picture, a PNG of my VR chat model, and and put it at the um, the bottom of my screen? So that's what I did. So I put like a little tiny PNG of the mint model, the lofo model, right here, and it was a static image. Someone came into my stream and they said, "Hey, did you know your camera broke? Your little VTube camera broke?" And I said, "What's a VTuber?" So I said, "Okay, well, what is this?" So I looked it up and there's something called a Gargura or whatever the frick. I didn't know what a VTuber was, but it gave me an idea. So in the middle of my stream, I said, "Guys, check this out." I had like two people watching me. I hit, -ching. I turned on the model. I'm like, "Look at me go! There it is, chat. I'm a, uh, I got a model now." And like, wow, that's so cool. On October 27, Fillion partnered with Twitch, which was a huge milestone to achieve in just a couple of months on the platform. After this, things started to progress very quickly for Fillion, as she hit several milestones in a short amount of time. Namely, on November 5th, she announced her first subathon, and on November 27, she received her first big raid from Kendo Murph, which made her very emotional.
even through her emotions, I think this clip really showcases how entertaining, open, and charming Fillion is. It wasn't until 2022 that Fillion announced that she would become a full-time streamer, and that's when things really started to kick in overdrive. Wait, are there really 1,400 people watching right now? Wait, is that real or not? Yeah? Are you serious? Why are there so many? Fillion grew exponentially through collaborations, viral clips of her, and interactions with both flesh tubers and VTubers alike that cemented her place as part of Twitch culture and community. Appearances with creators such as Miskif, Emiru, and Cotton were fairly frequent, and she even sat for an interview with Twitch CEO Dan Clancy. Fillion's outgoing nature enabled her to reach out to many new people, an ability she attributes to making many new friends in the industry oh one thing i would do is tell myself to message people i would tell myself the best way to make friends with streamers is to cold dm them for a collab hang out with them on stream have fun and then hang out off stream together as for collabing with vtubers her talent for meshing with both corporate vtubers such as henya so if you say dial at the end of a sentence it makes it cuter yeah cuter and more friendly henya i'm gonna kill you dial <laughs> And Pippa. Get your tubes tied. And then you have zero percent chance for pregnancy. But then you still have a chance for STDs. Well, it's better to have STDs than to never get D's. You're a virgin. Shut the fuck up. And indie VTubers like Neurosama. What happens in two years time? I predict there will be candy in the future. Candy's nice. Is it in your mouth? No. Okay. Nurse where's Vito gonna be in a month? Let me see. The 7 Eleven. What is his IP address at that 7 Eleven? Shy Lily, Bao, or Snuffy has created unforgettable moments, and her contribution to the VTubing community is notable. They're saying you're impenetrable. What does that mean? Are you laughing made out of unobtainium? No, I'm very penetrable. I My torso is soft and squishy. So what do you think of men who get cooked? I think that's really sad. They should, uh, um, can uh, I say that? What? I think they should beat their wives. <laughs> Audiences would get introduced to her and exposed to her content by those other creators, but they would stick around for her random quirky humor and slapstick comedy bits. Through these may seem random, there's actually a lot of planning and thought that Phelan puts into them. Her content feels effortless, but she admits that this is the result of long practices and honing her skills to become a better entertainer. How to be funny like you? I frick, I'm sorry. Chat, listen, if you want to be funny like me, just stop study people who are funny watch what they do when someone is about to like make a funny joke i will pause the video and try to think of what joke i would make and then i see what their joke is and see if mine was funnier or stupider than theirs was taking a guess and then seeing how it like compares you know this humor became a staple of her content and could easily be transformed into shorts or tiktoks and then a handstand okay <laughs> It's very easily consumable without much context or for someone just dropping in on a stream. This led to her going viral outside her community, on the popular subreddit LSF, and now on YouTube. Her mastery of shorts especially transformed her into a YouTube titan. As much as she first started on Twitch, her YouTube account now boasts 2.56 million followers and is the fourth biggest VTuber account worldwide, sitting right below Kizuna Ai. And may I remind you that she started more recently than most of them. Noah Day Fillion has collabed with a large array of industry figures and has even became a playable character in Oh Baby Cart. Fillion also enjoys organizing large-scale entertainment events for her community, such as the game show where Fox Plushy, Porcelain Maid, Nick Rolina, Miyuni, Truck Shan, and Vex the Sun Eater, amongst others, competed for Project Melody's Heart. Ready to make a decision, or would you like to ask another question? I have unwholesome questions! I've been framed? No. Murder! What? Oh no! Snack, you bring me during our scheduled visitation. What? <laughs> 
She also sent both Shoto and Shy Lily on separate occasions on 10 VTuber dates. Similarly, she's hosted tons of game shows and talent shows featuring some of the top personalities in the VTubing scene. She has also hosted a charity stream benefiting heart health and disease research just a few days later, which raised $50,380 for charity. We're gonna go ahead, after all this chat, I'm about to go and sit down and we're gonna play Jump King. <laughs> what am I doing, dude? Fillion, please take a bow. Why? You guys should take a bow. Bible thump 100 got to sleep. Do you need a hunk? As for some of her biggest milestones, there was her 600,000 followers subathon celebration, which resulted in tons of viral clips that you've probably seen around the internet, and in which she opened up to her audience about her journey. A pivotal moment not only for Fillion, but for the VTuber community was the VTuber award show. A show which cost upward of $100,000. How many hours did it take you to prepare for the VTuber Awards? Oh, you don't even want to know, man. The week before the VTuber Awards, I was playing 12-hour days every single day, including stream days. If I had to guess the amount of hours I put in personally, let me see. Maybe like 400 hours, 300 hours, something like that. How much did the award show cost? Across every person who worked on the show, it was approximately... $100,000 to make that happen. Was the product of months of planning and brought together over a hundred VTubers and artists alike. Fillion led the charge, hosting the inaugural VTuber Awards and folding at the We Play Esports Arena in LA. Teaming up with mythic talent, Fillion's mission was clear, to offer the VTubing world its own platform for accolades, welcoming both indie and corporate VTubers alike with the dream of bringing the community together. The lineup was rich, spanning from best music VTuber to best FPS VTuber and beyond, giving recognition and appreciation to the VTuber's universe rich talent tapestry. Embracing inclusivity, the awards welcome nods and votes for VTubers big and small, with the victors emerging through nominations, voting, and the final event. The VTuber awards were not just a celebration of talent, but also a technical showcase. The event was held on a virtual stage designed in Unreal Engine to create immersive experiences. The show was run by industry professionals and top-notch producers. The ceremony was a testament to the growth and maturing of the VTuber community, with Fillion's vision bringing together talents from across the world, irrespective of language or affiliations. I never actually saw the award show happening because the entire time I was staring at a teleprompter. Besides that, there was a small TV screen showing what was happening in the live stream, but it was all like a three second delay so i would move my arms and then three seconds later i would see it on the screen so basically i was blind the entire show i was in a room Still by issue. myself schizo as frick doing my best to announce it as we often see on this channel a large audience brings a broader array of feedback not all of it positive and fillion especially when she is part of large-scale community events such as the vtuber award show receives a large amount of criticism from detractors on social media. The VTuber award got criticized with some people doubting the message of being inclusive to VTubers big and small. Some even went as far as claiming that she was racist because of a George Floyd joke she made. You're breathtaking! You're breathtaking! You're all breathtaking! Chat, that was an effing quote from George Floyd. Alright. <laughs> was that edgy or not? <laughs> the award show preparations became increasingly taxing on Fillion and she started suffering from severe burnout, trying to juggle her high effort streams and all the red tape involved in the VTuber awards. Fillion announced that she was going to take a well-deserved break for about a month and decided to go relax and hang out with some of her friends. I haven't taken a break in a really long time. Um, I'm gonna take a break like, I, like um, we said. I don't know when I'm gonna be back. It won't be insanely long, don't worry. It won't be like three years. Whenever? Whenever? It probably won't even be a month, but I'll, I'll let you guys know. I just need some time off, mental reset, 
hang out with some friends but what was supposed to be a month-long break lasted about nine days due to her missing her snackers too much she announced she would be doing a surprise cooking stream and then revealed that she had been staying with miss gift her first stream back was the long-awaited irl cooking stream where she cooked rice krispie cereal with butter and fruit snacks as an entree and mac and cheese in a rice cooker seasoned with steak crab, fruit snacks, and e rob as an appetizer. What I can only describe as a seriously cursed combo. Okay, that should be good. It's not on. I have the all spark, and it's right here. You may say, Phil, is this really a cube from the Adriana Chechik ball pit? The answer is yes. And you know what I can do? I can do what no one's ever done before. Fillion got rid of I can get evidence. revenge on the ball pit. So I'm gonna put this bad boy on the ground right here. You guys ready? You guys ready? <laughs> this is for Adriatic Chechik! <laughs> this kind of looks like a, like, a, like a My Little Pony fan ejaculated in a jar. Her ability to bounce back, whether from controversies or personal burnout, with even more engaging content speaks volume of her resilience and dedication to her community. And just when you think you've seen it all, Fillion is sure to surprise you, proving time and time again that the world of VTubing is as boundless as her imagination. And remember, in Fillion's world, the unexpected is just around the corner. Her content consists. Her content consists. <clears throat> her content consists of pranks, all kinds of VR chat. She kept encountering Lota Lolaton. She kept encountering Lolaton, and through series of chains, and through a series of chains encounters There's such as Miskif, Emiru, caught appearances with creators such as Miskif and Emiru, Cotton. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Um, as for collabing with VTubers, her ability to mesh with corporate VTubers such as... Um, I'm saying ability to time her. A pivotal, a, a pivotal moment not only for Fillion, but for the VTuber community was the VTuber award show. A show which cost up to... Uh, a show which cost upward of one...